Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Somshaker and back with the bit timing concept of a CAN protocol. Let's start with a question, what is bit time? Bit time is the time taken to transmit a single bit whether it may be recessive or dominant bit. Now we will see how bit time is divided into different segments in a CAN protocol. Basically there are four segments in a single bit time such as sync segment, propagation segment, phase buffer segment 1 and phase buffer segment 2. Let, let's understand the purpose of each segment in the bit time. These segments are again divided into a fixed number of time quantas or also call it as a TQ and these TQs are fixed in length. You can see in this slide how the single bit time is divided into four segments. Again the question is what is time quanta? The time quanta is the fixed unit, unit of time derived from the oscillator period. We will discuss about this in next slides. Now we will see the bit construction of a CAN protocol. Here you can see in this slide how let's say for example I am considering here dominant bit. As I already said bit can be either dominant or recessive but the construction of bit should be in such a manner you can see in this slide this is from ear to ear the synchronization segment as I said sync seg from ear to ear propagation segment from this point to this point this is called as a phase buffer segment 1 and the last one is phase buffer segment 2 so here I want to explain how bit is segregated into multiple segments such as sync segment, sync segment, propagation segment, phase buffer segment 1 and phase buffer segment 2. And also you can see how each segment is segregated into fixed number of time quantas. Here you can see the same. Friends, as I already said, bit time is the time taken to transmit single bit now we will see if the can is operating at 500 kbps then how much time it takes to transmit a single bit with a small example you can see here how one bit time is divided into four different segments in a can protocol sync segment propagation segment phase buffer segment one and phase buffer segment two this is the sample point this will understand in our upcoming videos <coughs> here you can see the data rate so indicated by F let's say for example the data rate is 500 kbps that means 500 kilobits per second the can is operating at 500 kbps if you if you want to calculate the bit time for this anyway as we know the T bit that means the nominal bit rate you can see as we know that the formula used to calculate the T bit is 1 divided by F so if you divide the 1 divided by F F is the data rate that is 500 kbps you will get 2 microsecond that means to transmit a single bit we need 2 microseconds in a CAN network now let's understand about time quantum as I already said time quantum is the fixed unit of time derived from the oscillator period that means the baud rates prescalar is divided by the system clock FCS the formula I have given in this slide you can see here this is to determine the time quanta you can see this is the time quanta one time quanta for queries please leave comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel secrets of automotive industry and hit thumbs up thank you all